A little more than a thunderstorm. A tornado warning. I don't think you can get the full effect of how dark it is. It is 3.55 in the afternoon. And so we're gonna, we warmed up a rice bag. This is his box for now. We're the Farnsworths. We're working on our fifth year of full-time living in our RV as a travel nurse family. Come along with us on contract number 14 in Worcester, Massachusetts, as we explore beautiful New England this fall. We left off last week looking for an RV park near Worcester. Between our size, the limited amount of RV parks, and the seasonal closings that happened in early October, it was a challenge. Semi-settled, we are in Massachusetts, but not near where we're going to end up for the whole contract. Right now, I don't even know what town we're in, do you? No, we're gonna go to Milford to grocery shop. We have to find the skate parks, because obviously. Look at this. It's like super. Perhaps we need a step stool, <laughs> but this is handy. We have a step stool. Ha ha ha, it's handy. <laughs> One left. Share it. No, you can have it. I want Starbucks. Oh, oh. <laughs> Just walk it over. Little town of Uxbridge. I think I'm saying that right. Massachusetts. And we found a park to take them before we go run all of our errands. See, if you do the park first, then they can't complain that you have to go run errands. If you run the errands first, then uh, I might not have time for the park and then they get real mad. After burning off some energy, getting groceries and doing laundry, we spent the next few days following up with campgrounds in the area to find a new place to stay. Time was ticking as we only had this spot for five days. We were prepared to look for hotels or even Airbnb options. That's troubles. <laughs> Luckily, one part came through and even agreed to let us stay through the end of John's contract on November 3rd. Call it a coincidence if you want, but God has never left us hanging. One way or another, he always seems to make a way. Oh yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Oh, that was nice. One thing we were surprised to find out about New England is they still have tornadoes. All right, well, we're going on a little walk to the front office. In a in thunderstorm warning. A little more than a thunderstorm. A tornado warning. But it's kind of weird here because we're from Kansas and normally a tornado warning is like- We'll be right back. Imminent danger. Um, nope. And, here, you can we can see the storm cell. It's not here yet. It's, it's very humid out here. My phone is fogging. <laughs> wow, it really is. Um, we're gonna go up front and see if there's a storm shelter that we can take cover if it does get bad. I sort of think we're just gonna get rain, but I doubt it there's doesn't... sirens here. <laughs> um, unless it's really different from all of the Kansas experience. It doesn't smell like it. it doesn't look yeah. like it. It's not the right color. I know we're like it doesn't feel like tornado weather, but. <laughs> But maybe the tornadoes, they're a different variety up here. <laughs> Did you just say tornadoes? Tornadoes. Yeah. Just going around, making sure that we got all the ties. Those tied up over there. Yeah, all right, let's go get in. Okay, I came back to the trailer uh, before it started and the boys and John are still up at the front office just meandering around looking at antiques. But now I'm like, they're gonna have to walk back in this. I don't think you can get the full effect of how dark it is. It is 3.55 in the afternoon and it's really, really dark. Oh, yeah. Really, really waited till the last minute, huh? Yeah. <laughs> While we were not in the path of the tornado that day, one did touch down about 40 miles northwest of us. All right, well, we're finally getting settled in here in 
Massachusetts. Can I go say hello to the crawfish? Is that what I heard? Yeah. No, our pet crawfish. Oh, you have a pet? Oh. We're gonna go check out the surrounding areas. I'm not sure if there's any towns like super close by, but you know, 20 minutes away or so. We're gonna go scope out where the Aldi is, where the Walmart is. We don't have to scope out laundromats. There's one right here. Well, you know, campground washing machines. And uh, yeah, see what, see what we can find. Check it out. I'm excited. As a travel nurse family, part of settling into a new contract is learning where things are. We arrived about a week before John had to start work, so we made the best use of our time and got in several hikes, including this one at Mount Potatic. I know, it's amazing how much you can get out of shape. like out of practice, we haven't hiked like this in probably six months. <laughs> That's a good dog. <laughs> we made it. Now, rumor has it you can see Boston from here, but uh, I haven't seen it yet, so we'll keep you posted. Beyond this little hump here, and into back, this, I, keep, I feel like I'm seeing the skyline. Can't have my coffee. No, you can't have Dad's coffee either. Where you at? I'm in New Hampshire. Really? Yeah. Where are you guys at? I'm in Massachusetts. Yeah, man. <laughs> State line. Hey, and I mean. Oh, Mid State, Mid State Trail, 1985. New Hampshire to Rhode Island. You might think we eat ice cream a lot, and you'd be correct. While we don't get it every time we go out, it does make a really great incentive for completing strenuous hikes. And we aren't the only ones who agree. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> My goodness gracious, that's huge. How is it? What was I I got caught I got cake mm -hmm. batter ice cream with chocolate sauce, dark chocolate sauce, and Oreos. Awesome. And just in case we needed confirmation that we were in the right place, we found this beautiful outdoor chapel. Okay, this is a bit more real time than we normally do. We normally share things weeks after they happen, but right now we have a special little friend who is on his way to the wildlife sanctuary this afternoon and it's very sad for my kids. So we're gonna go say hello to Knuckles and tell you a little bit more about him before we go take him to squirrel school. Oh. If you missed our last video, we sort of had a new pet in the family. His name is Knuckles. He and several siblings were found by another camper. After trying to reunite them with their mother and sadly losing some of the siblings, this family passed the remaining three to us when they left. Two more babies passed away and Knuckles was the lone survivor. We figured the siblings likely died due to hypothermia, so we kept him warm by heating up a rice sack and eventually we even brought him into our RV. Everyone fell in love with him and we had high hopes of rehabilitating him and releasing him back into the wild. We're 
we're about to put Knuckles down for a nap. Um, he ran around today. We took him out to the park and he met a bunch of people. Um, wasn't very fond of that, but he loves taking naps. And so we're gonna, we warmed up a rice bag. This is his box for now. And we put it in the corner usually. Um, this is a plate that he had his breakfast on. He had his breakfast. He and he's gonna... <laughs> just let him do his thing. He'll right in there. Well, how hot is it? He doesn't want it to be too hot. So oh yeah, he likes to snuggle up in there. And so why why, why don't we just put him outside? Um, we, put him out, we don't put him outside anymore because um, it gets too cold out. Well, we can put him out during the daytime. Well, yeah, we can put him out during the daytime, but if we try to put him out when... If he wants to sleep out there, then he'll die of hypothermia, as we've learned before. Yeah, his um, siblings so pass. His siblings. He does have a lot of energy, but what usually happens is he'll be energetic, and then he talkers out. Gal, we talked to from the sanctuary, said that he is looking a little malnourished which I don't doubt because we don't know how to take care of a squirrel and how to feed it very well. We've been feeding him um, peanuts and water uh, and he's had a few tastes of apple but we know not to give it any kind of like processed food or anything like that so we, we looked around for some acorns couldn't find any. I'm not sure he could open them up yet because he's still too little for that but the kids have been putting a timer on and making sure that we heat up the rice sack every couple of hours and putting it in the basket to make sure that he's warm enough. The really sad part about this whole thing is that John is like the squirrel whisperer and he's so good with him and they like snuggle and stuff. And unfortunately, John is at work today and the wildlife sanctuary said that we need to get him in as soon as possible that really it needs to be today and not tomorrow when John's off tomorrow. And so unfortunately John won't get to say goodbye. So I think they all understand we're trying to do the best thing for Knuckles, even though it's really heartbreaking for the kiddos to have to say goodbye. Knuckles is gone. John and I are on a hike all by ourselves. It's kind of monumental. So we're gonna go uh, push ourselves. We're here for a workout. It's a, apparently right up there a little more, there's another pond. Hmm. Now that we're all settled in, join us next week as we head to downtown Boston on our bikes. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out there. I got in 9,131 steps. Nice. Almost 10,000 steps. Time to go home and eat dinner.